Hi guys, um, right now you are looking at the New York City skyline, it's actually an uh, awesome view from where I'm standing right now. I'm standing uh, at my hotel, which is uh, not very far from the Meadowlands. Apparently uh, Smackdown is here, and uh, tomorrow I guess it will be uh, Monday Night Smackdown, that's what it looks like. Uh, the Smackdown crew, including myself, hold up. The SmackDown crew, including myself, actually just returned from Europe. Um, as I'm sure most of you guys know, there was a volcano in Iceland, and uh, the volcano, the ash of the volcano, actually covered the skies of uh, the UK and Northern Europe. Actually, all of Europe kind of shut down uh, all the airspace, all the airports, and we were very, very lucky to get out. It didn't just take us one day to get out; it didn't take us two days. It took us actually over two days, over 48 hours from the time we were bed to bed. It was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we had to take a seven-hour train ride to get to one show. There were two different groups. We couldn't put the whole uh, crew on one uh, train. We actually had to take two different trains. And then finally we did the show, and we had to skip out on our last two events so that we could drive in a bus, two different buses actually, for 24 hours straight. That's right, 24 hours straight. Not exaggerating at all. And barely made our uh, flight that was in Madrid, Spain. Uh, we got on a flight in Madrid, Spain around midnight, and... Uh, Got to the U.S. about nine hours and some change later, and got through customs. Got to our hotel, you know, two, three o'clock in the morning after traveling for uh, over 50 hours straight. Absolutely crazy. By far the craziest travel experience I've ever had. And I drove home from Houston during 9/11, which is saying something. That was a 17-hour drive. So uh, Raw will be going on tomorrow, and uh, it might be the SmackDown crew, but uh, still WWE all the way around. Uh, glad we made it back. Safe and sound, hoping that the Raw crew and uh, the rest of the guys and gals that are stranded out there and away from their uh, family and loved ones and uh, jobs and vacations and homes, whatever you're away from, I uh, hope you can make it back safe and sound. Anyway, just wanted to uh, buzz you and uh, let you see this beautiful view of the New York skyline that I'm checking out. And uh, before I go, I'll let you see it again. the Empire State Building in New York. You gotta love NYC.